Hey everybody, it's Great on 95 and here we are for another episode of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, even though I don't call them episodes. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> last time we were gonna prove that Miles Edgeworth is innocent because we're going crazy. And Von Karma. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Say it now! Your Honor, there's a suspect. One lone suspect. Well, this is certainly interesting news. <clears throat> Very well, Mr. Wright. Who is your suspect? <laughs> my, my hands are shaking. <laughs> what? Von Karma! Von Karma? Do you mean THE Von Karma? The prosecutor? Sitting right there? Bah! You don't object? Uh, excuse my, uh, voice crack. Huh. Uh, excuse me. I see no need. Why honor, why honor this ridiculous outburst with my objection? Woohoo! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Because you took a vacation for several months, starting the day after the incident. Yet you pride yourself on a perfect record. Why would you take such a long vacation without any reason? So you're claiming that I took vacation to heal my injury from the incident. Fascinating. Prove it. I would have needed surgery. No. Where did I go under the knife at, Mr. Wright? Bring the doctor that operated to me. Have him testify. Er. Nick. Let's find out who his doctor is. It's no use. E Edgeworth? I know Von Karma, perhaps too well. He's perfect. He wouldn't leave clues. He probably didn't undergo surgery. That would leave a doctor as witness. Grr, nobody's that perfect. So, so what, Nick? Did Von Karma pull the bullet out by himself? That's insane! No, he couldn't have. You can't just pull bullets out of yourself. Wait, what does that mean? That bullet has to be somewhere... But where? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Well, Mr. Wright? Can you prov produce evidence that prove that I was shot? Ah, I... Uh, uh, crap. Uh, um, I, uh, it's impossible. It would be impossible to find the doctor you're operating on Von Karma now. Even if Von Karma did undergo surgery. Hmm. It seems you have finally come to your senses. You said that like five times. I think. You realize the truth. You can't prove something that didn't happen. Arr. Nick. The court record. There must be something. The court record? <laughs> what could be in there? God, there's no time. I better go. Better think on it as I go. Crap. All right, Von Karma, I'll prove it. And I'll even use evidence. I know you like it so much. Crap! <laughs> Stop it, Phoenix! No. I don't know what to... Oh, crap. Ah, this is why you overuse the save feature. Because otherwise you lose everything. <clears throat> what? The evidence that proves Von Karma was shot is... Crap! Uh Which victim are we talking about? Crap. Uh Ha ah, Metal Detector, go! Von Karma is perfect. He wouldn't risk surgery leaving an evidence trail. So then I ask, where is that bullet now? I think it unlikely that Von Karma per performed surgery on himself. You you don't mean I do. There is the possibility that the bullet is still inside Von Karma. <laughs> this is so weird. Is that even possible for all these years? Well, there's only one way to find out. We could use this metal detector. Well, Von Karma, I'm going to run this over you and see what we find. This is going to be creepy. Aha! I refuse. Y you refuse? But refusing this means... 
you acknowledge that the bullet is still inside you, you are done. Order, order, order! Your Honor, the defense requests that we be allowed to use the metal detector. Judge, I call for a suspension of this trial. This is an invasion of privacy. The statute of limitations runs out on this case today. It was you who said that we had to end it right here, right now. Mm. Mm. Enough. I permit the use of the metal detector. Mr. Von Karma, you will submit yourself to testing. Nick, what does this mean? Probing. I don't know. <laughs> but we have to give it a shot. Ah, shot. Because he was shot. Oh. He reacted. Something's inside his right shoulder. The bullet. Hello, 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 hello. Mr. Von Karma. You. It was you! I was afraid this would happen. And so I remained silent. Indeed, there is a bullet in my shoulder. However, it has nothing to do with this incident. What? I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL6 incident. I claim that the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL6. Oh my god! Die, Von Karma! Just die! But, but, Mr. Von Karma, can you prove that? Prove? I have no obligation to prove anything. It is you who must prove something here, Mr. Wright. Not I. Mr. Wright? Well, can you prove it? Can you prove it was the bullet in Von Karma's shoulder from DL6? Hold on, guys. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I had to take a call and it took forever. But I didn't mind it. So, let's get going. Uh, can I prove that? Yeah, I don't think so. Of course you can't. You don't have any of the DL6 evidence. That's because you took it out of the records room yesterday. With no proof, you cannot convict me of the crime. Of any crime, actually. So sorry, Mr. Wright. No, I'm the one who's sorry, Mr. Von Karma. Wh what? You were close. One day away from freedom. You see, I have proof. Wh what? Who would have thought you would have dug your own grave trying to convict Edward? I can link that bullet in your shoulder to the DL6 incident. Crap. Save. Crap! I don't remember! Uh. Let me just put this. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Uh. Continue. I don't know! And here's my final proof. Oh god. Um, bullet, uh, god, uh, oh, um, here I go, Th that's a bullet? Where did you get that? This is the bullet used in the DL6 incident. This was taken from the heart of the victim, Mr. Gregory Edgeworth. Oh yeah, gut feeling for the win. The bullet is preserved quite nicely with all the ballistic markings intact. Ballistic markings? You may recall the term. It came up in the first trial two days ago. Ballistic markings are the fingerprints of a weapon. All bullets fired from a gun are marked with that weapon's unique pattern. By examining the markings, you can tell which weapon bullet, which, which weapon fired the bullet. Blah, 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 blah. It's quite accurate. We have two bullets in our possession. The one, the bullet removed from Gregory Edgeworth's heart. The other, Mr. Von Karma, is, bullet, is, is the bullet buried in your shoulder. I can't read. 
we could analyze both bullets. Then, if the markings matched, we would know that both bullets had been fired from the same gun. The very same pistol, in other words, the murder weapon, that killed Gregory Edgeworth. <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, you will let us remove the bullet from your shoulder. Then we'll compare the ballistic markings to those on this bullet and solve this case once and for all. Well, Mr. Von Karma? That scream. I've heard that scream before. Wait, I know. Help, I can't breathe. Quiet, I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. Stop breathing my air. I'll, I'll stop you. Stop breathing my air! Get away! Get away from my father! Bang! Ugh! It's that scream I heard in the elevator 15 years ago. Von Karma, it was you who screamed! Mr. Von Karma? Edgeworth! Edgeworth! Only you would dare defy me! So it was you! You and your father are my curse! <laughs> your father shamed me with a penalty on my record! And you, you left a scar on my shoulder that would never fade! I, I'll bury you! I'll bury you with my bare hands! Death! Death! Fifteen years earlier, Mr. Chief Prosecutor, I am sorry. Von Karma, it's not like you to make this kind of error. I never would have thought that Edgeworth would be the one to catch you. I... I was careless. I'm sorry, but you will have to be penalized. I've covered for you in the past, but not this time. Edgeworth! It was a shock like none I had ever known. Me? Penalized? It took hours for me to regain my composure. Suddenly, I found myself in the darkness. I was in the courtroom, records room. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went out from the hall and felt my way to the elevator. I pressed the button, and nothing happened. Then, there was a noise. I was in pain, a horrible burning pain, in my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on. The elevator door opened before my eyes. I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. I knew then, it was destiny. Creepy. In his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died, never knowing who had shot him. Later, he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. He was fooled. It was the perfect crime. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Who would have thought another man would have come to open that elevator door? Judge! What? What are you doing? Do your job. Bring an end to this miserable charade. Now, end it! Very well. <laughs> Even... Oh my god. It appears that we have come to a very long way to the end of this maze. I put another two in there. Fifteen years later, Mr. Miles Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor? You were innocent. You are innocent. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth? Not guilty. Oh yeah, case four is done. For real this time. That is all. The court is adjourned. Woo! December 28th. Yeah, blah, blah. I can't read now. Nick, Nick, we did it. Did you see his face? Von Karma looked even paler than usual. 
He's pretending to be all cool, but inside you crush him. They crushed. I gotta say, I'm impressed. <laughs> I was. It was pretty close, though. I was sure we had it. I know. I was on the very e the verge of tears the whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. So it's finally over, Edgeworth. Right? Yeah. I. I'm not sure how to say this. But I love you. I know. I know. Try. Oh, I know. I know. Try. Thank you. 